case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A landmark 1902 case, American School of Magnetic Healing v. McAnulty, brought center stage the authority and possible overreach of the Postmaster General, while at the same time highlighting an individual's right to property. The case started when a fledgling business, which claimed to cure illnesses using mental powers, had their mails held back by the Postmaster General. They were accused by the Postmaster General of committing fraud, consequently sparking a legal dispute. Questions surfaced about the Postmaster General's jurisdiction to refuse the delivery of mails and the legitimacy of the business in question. Important facts in focus included the basis of the business on mental powers, the Postmaster's refusal to deliver mails, and the company's defense that their operation did not constitute fraud. The case presented complex constitutional issues, however. It fell outside the purview of this specific case. The crux of the legal dispute lay in whether the Postmaster General's actions were supported by existing statutes and if the beleaguered business had the right to seek legal remedy. The Supreme Court also had to consider if the business's modus operandi was deceptive and tantamount to fraud as per federal statutes. Ultimately, the Supreme Court sided with the complainants, ruling that they were legally entitled to their mail. It was determined that the Postmaster General overstepped his bounds and lacked legitimate authority to hold back the mail delivery. Consequently, an injunction was passed to halt further mail holding. The case was remitted back to the lower court with instructions to proceed in accordance with the ruling. However, the right of the defendant to challenge the business's legality during a full trial was preserved. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.